Hi, I'm Delana from DelanaSimmons.com and today I want to show you how to make a PDF using Canva. PDFs are a great way to give value to your audience, so I'm going to take you step by step through how to create one, um, how to design it, and how to save it as a PDF so that you can send it out in emails or as content upgrades. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking the red subscribe button. This way you don't miss new videos as they're added every single week. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I'm already signed into my Canva account. So here I am on the main page. Now I usually go with, um, for a PDF, a, either a US letter document size or the A4 document size. They're basically the same size, um, but they do have different templates. So if you're gonna use one of the Canva templates as a starting point, then you might find two different, you might find some different options in either one of these here. So, but for today, let's do the US letter document. It's gonna open up in a new tab. And over here on the left, you'll see that it already loads the um, the templates for you that you can use um, as a starting off point. So if you're not really sure how you wanna design your template, I mean your PDF, you can um, just scroll through here and see if there's something that you want to um, use to get started with. But for now, we're just gonna start with the blank page over here. So um, you really will just design this pretty much like a um, any other graphic that you would design in Canva. You can add your, um, any elements over here. You can add, um, let's see, it's a little, it takes a minute to load sometimes, but um, you can add, it'll have you recently used up here. You can add photos, you can add grids, you can add shapes, lines, frames, anything like that. Um, it also have, you can add text. Um, if you wanna add backgrounds, they have those here. Uploaded pictures or anything that you may have uploaded to your account. So the way that I usually do a PDF is if I'm doing a document to give out as a freebie, it's usually got a few pages to it. So I'll start with a cover, which would start with one of my own photos. Um, so I'd probably come in here to, I think I put them under my photos, yeah. And I'll just pick something that I already have filtered and cropped the way I want, and I'll put it in as the background. <clears throat> so you'll just wanna drop it in like this, and then you can um, you know, make it full page if you want, something like that. And then I'll come over to Elements and grab the square. And now because I have the Canva for work, I can save um, brand colors in here. So I've got my brand colors right here and I'll just pick one of these to use to add a little bit of color to this. Let's see. Can make it, I like to make it almost the same size as the picture. And then what I'll do is come up here to the transparency option and lighten it up. There we go. Perfect. And then we'll add some text. And it can be like something like how to, let's see. And then I'm going to do another one. Oh, let's change this to, and then we'll do. all this bigger yeah it's not much bigger is it okay how to make PDFs in Canva something like that very simple and then I would probably add a new page. Um, I wouldn't want the background on this page though, so we can take that out. And then I'd probably do something like maybe a checklist. So I would take the square. What I usually do for the checklists is make a square like this. And then I would add a text box of my plain text. Make it a little bit bigger, maybe like a size 14 or 16, something that would be like your usual reading text. Now what I like to do is do two text boxes 
and make one a little bit bigger and maybe bold it and that could be like the um, header that might be too big or like the bullet point and then <clears throat> and then have your description or like your explanation underneath it. Oops, I want to zoom this in a little bit. And then the checkbox, you can have it like this. And then what I would do is highlight all of these boxes like this. You click on my computer, you click shift and then click each one and then you can group them together. Okay. So then what I like so then what I like to do is now I've got this as a whole set. They move around together, everything is set. <clears throat> so when I want to add another checkbox, I can um, just copy this and put it here and everything is lined up. You just line it up on down the page and then however many you need and fill it in. So now it looks like that and you could just fill in with your bullet and then your explanation and then you've got your little checkboxes and it's very easy. Kiva doesn't allow you to, or doesn't have an option for making your checkboxes or any other fields fillable but um, it's very easy to go and to save this into Google Drive and you can use their app called DocuHub to make everything fillable so that way when your readers and your audience downloads it they can um, actually check off or fill in any spaces. So that's just a very rough idea of how to create the PDF. Obviously you would just fill in your own style, your own brand colors, all of that, and your own content. And then what you want to do is save it as a PDF. So you will come up here to the download button. And then right here it wants to save it as a PNG, which is a image file. But you want to click this and choose, um, I usually just do PDF standard. I don't imagine many people will print stuff off most of the time anymore. So PDF standard is fine. Um, choose that one and then click download. And then what it's going to do is um, prepare your design as a PDF. So I don't want to print it. <laughs> and it's just going to open up for us in another window as a PDF. And then once you have your PDF downloaded, you can save it anywhere that you'd like to save it. Usually to, for the first, you know, when I first download it, I usually just save it to my desktop so it's easy for me to find it. And then I will use it for whatever I need, put it in my ConvertKit account or do whatever with it. And then I'll move it to where I save all of my PDFs and stuff um, on my Google Drive. So if this makes sense, let me know in the comments, drop the word value. I'd love to know that this is um, actually helping you um, with your business and your projects that you need to do. This is how I support women in online business. I love helping you take the content you've created and get it out into the world. I offer free chats to women who are ready to take that next step in their business. If that sounds like you, make sure you apply below. And make sure to come hang out with me on Instagram and Facebook where I share tech tips and tricks all the time. I'll see you there.